81 to the power of sine squared x plus 81 to the power of cos squared x equal to 30. Here we see sine squared x, cos squared x. These two things have a relationship, a famous relationship. It is what? Sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1. Now we can replace, then we can conclude cos squared x equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So first part, we can say it is 81 to the power of sine squared x plus 81. We replace cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. It will be 1 minus sine squared x equal to 30. Now, by power rule, we know a to the m minus n equal to a to the m over a to the n. And then we can conclude. 81 sine squared x plus 81 to the power of 1 over 81 to the power of sine squared x by applying this. Equal to 30. Now here, next step. We consider 81 to the power of sine squared x equal to y. Then we can conclude y plus 81 over y equal to 30. We multiply both sides by y. Then we can say y squared plus 81 equal to 30y. Now let's take all things to left hand side y squared minus 30y plus 81 equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation and we can solve it with quadratic formula. Also we can solve it with factorizing. Let's write y. Let's write y equal to Product is 81, sum is negative 30. So minus 3 minus 27 equal to 0. Then we conclude y equal to 3 or 27. y is what? 81 to the power of sine squared x. So 81 to the power of sine squared x. So we have two cases. It is equal to 3 or 27. Let's consider both cases. Case 1. Okay, so 81 is 3 to the power of 4 to the power of sine squared x equal to 3. By power rule, we know that a to the power of m to the power of n equal to a to the power of mn. And then 3 to the power of 4 we conclude this by this power rule equal to 3, 3 is 3 to the power of 1. Then we conclude powers are equal. Look if ax equal to ay, a to the x equal to a to the y, x equal to y, a is not negative, a is positive, and a is not 1. We can conclude this. So here we apply this and the powers are equal. 4 sine squared x equal to 1. Then we divide both sides by 4. Sine squared x is 1 over 4. And from this part we conclude sine x equal to plus minus 1 over 2. Okay, we want to say it in degrees we can say. And also we can say it in radians. If I want to tell you in radians, we can say, I will tell you in both ways, sine 30 is one half and also sine 150 is one half. Sine negative 30 is one negative one half and also Sine negative 150 is negative 1. So we can conclude x equal to 30 degree, 150 degree, 
And this one, we can say it is 210. 360 minus this will be 210 degrees. And this one, if you want to say from 0 to 360, it will be 330 degrees. You can also say them in radians. As homework, try to tell them in radians and comment your answers right below this video. Let's consider second case. Second case is 27. Okay, so 81 to the power of sine squared x equal to 27. 27 is 3 cubed, so 81 is 3 to the 4. So 3 to the 4 sine, x, sine squared x equal to 3 cubed. And then we can conclude 4 sine squared x equal to 3 then we can divide both sides by 4 and sine squared x equal to 3 over 4. And sine squared x, sine x equal to plus minus root 3 over 2. Exactly with the same way, if we want to find all angles, if you consider unit circle, 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, sine of that. Also, 120 degrees, some of them is 180. Sine of that is negative root, plus root 3 over 2, negative 60, and negative 120 degree. Will be, sine of that will be negative root 3 over 2. So, x will be 60 degrees, 120. Negative 120 will be 240, and 360 it will be 300. Okay, so we found 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In each case, 4 answers, so we found 8 answers from 0 to 360 degrees. Okay, as homework, try to write these angles in um, radians, and if you have questions, and want to learn more ideas you can send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments and please don't forget to subscribe turn on notification and like the video thanks for watching this video bye